السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو ریئیکٹ دا ون ویڈیو دیٹ ویڈیو از اباؤٹ رمضان دا ریئل فیکٹر آف رمضان سو شیخ مولانا حسن علی صاحب سے اونلی فائیو پرسینٹ اونلی فائیو پرسینٹ مسلم نو واٹس دا ریئل فیکٹ اباؤٹ دا رمضان سو وی ول ریئیکٹ آن دس ویڈیو نا My brothers and sisters, Ramadan is here literally and a lot of people don't understand why we have this Ramadan coming, coming every year and we have it coming again another year and another year and people literally think that we're supposed to just, just show that we're not eating, we're not drinking. In fact, some people say that we fast in Ramadan because we're supposed to feel how the poor people are feeling. That is a very lame thing. very lame because if that was the case then why are the poor people fasting okay the reason why we're fasting in Ramadan is because we're trying to bring in self-control there are many many reasons why we're doing it but I'm going to tell you one big reason I remember I was traveling with one of my friends and uh, there was a non-muslim with us and the non-muslim asked he said why do you Muslims fast And most people don't know this. Even my friend was surprised with the reason why we actually fast. And most Muslims don't even know this. The reason why we fast is because we have two places in our bodies that are the, are the drive behind uh, a person's uh, attachment to this world. Two main drives. So you have your drive, one drive which is your stomach. Most of the things we're doing in this world is because of the stomach. We want to feed the stomach, we want to keep ourselves healthy and so on and so forth. And the second drive is that between the thighs. So the urge that a man has, the urge that a woman has for the opposite gender, that's another reason why we have a lot of attachment to this world or to the people of this world. Okay? These two drives, the drive of the stomach and the drive of that between the thighs, Uh, they are the major two parts that makes a person want to attach themselves to this dunya. So what Allah Azza wa Jal has done for 30 days is He said to us to control these two drives and said don't eat, don't drink, that's, the, that's going straight down to the first drive of the stomach. And then Allah Azza wa Jal says don't have any sort of mutual relationship with your, you know, with your, with your wife or with your husband uh, during the whole of Ramadan. Why do you think that is? That is because we have now cut off the two parts that really give us a big drive towards this world. And then after that Allah says, now you're going to attach yourself to, akhir, to the Akhirah, attach yourself to Allah Azza wa Jal through a lot of, um, through contemplation, through recitation, through uh, doing dhikr, by doing dua, by reading the Quran extra, all of these things are going to make us come closer to Allah Azza wa Jal by extra salah in the night, by standing in front of Allah. So what we're doing here is we're doing two parts. One is you shut down the drive that puts you towards the dunya. And that's the, that's the stomach and, that, and between the thighs, the urge between the thighs. So we've shut those down. But the second part is that you're supposed to then ignite and start The, the process inside that, that puts us towards the, uh, drives us towards the Akhirah. Those of us every Ramadan that have only just stopped eating and only stopped sort of drinking, you're only working on the first part of the whole point of Ramadan. Out of the Muslims, about 70% of Muslims fast during Ramadan. Out of those 70%, of Muslims that fast, less than 5% get the real essence of what Ramadan is about. Because Ramadan is not just about, okay, we're not going to, you know, people think, okay, I'm not going to eat, I'm not going to drink, uh, I'm not going to sleep with my, you know, with my spouse, and that's it for 30 days. And you get from beginning of Ramadan till the end of Ramadan, and you're pretty much the same. 
And most Muslims, like 95% or 90 something percent of Muslims who fast, they literally go from beginning of Ramadan to the end of Ramadan and, and, they, and they come to the, to the end. What, what have they achieved? Nothing. They're back to normal again when Eid comes. And the reason why that is, is because they're not doing the second part, which is to put the drive in towards the Akhirah, doing those extra, you know, uh, you know, you know, putting their minds towards Allah, doing your dhikr, doing your tilawa, with the part that you've done in terms of, you know, closing the other drive. Yeah, this is true. This is true, he said. And when I was seven year old, so some other people also said, he was older than me. So he said, uh, I don't know, he just telling only me or he know about this thing. He just said, we fasting because some poor people no have food so we want to realize the if we not eating what we feel what we realize so for the poor people we take fasting this is true in the childhood age i am here from other peoples this is true he said mm. and he also tell very good things for two devices in our body have two devices stomach and between of thigh so he said also true that two devices is most desirable and in this Ramadan we need to control it and be much much more to Zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and read salah between the night, middle night and keep fasting safely and care your eyes, care your air, care your tongue and inshallah wa ta'ala subhanahu wa ta'ala we will show the right path and and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send peace and blessing on upon us on this Ramadan and Allah Hafiz bye inshallah wa ta'ala we will see the next video inshallah wa ta'ala okay.